ஹலோ எவ்ரிபடி வெல்கம் டு எ ஸ்மார்ட் கிராஸ்ப் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் அண்ட் வின் கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் ஃபார் தி டே லெட்ஸ் கெட் ஸ்டார்டட் வித் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் சாப்டர் ஒன் இன்டீஜர்ஸ் எக்ஸசைஸ் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் டூ இன் தட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சம் ரைட் அவுன் அ பேர் ஆஃப் இன்டீஜர்ஸ் ஹூஸ் சம் இஸ் மைனஸ் செவன் ஸோ வி ஆர் சப்போஸ் டு ரைட் அ பேர் ஆஃப் இன்டீஜர்ஸ் ஹூஸ் சம் வில் பி மைனஸ் செவன் So in order to split 7, we can split it as 4 and 3. The final answer should be minus 7. So the highest value should have the minus value because the highest number sign we will take, right? So it should be minus 4 and the other value is minus 3. So let's do a sum plus because it is given plus. Now let's try. Since it is plus, we won't change the sign. minus into minus plus on adding we will get 7 greater number sign is minus so the split up is minus 4 and minus 3 or we can write minus 5 minus 2 also since it is plus we won't change the sign minus into minus plus when you add we will get 7 the greater number sign is minus we can write other examples also minus 9 plus 2 minus into plus minus when you subtract we will get 7 greater number sign is minus so if you want to write one positive integer and one negative integer you can write like this there are so many examples like this we can write any one of them now b subdivision difference is minus 10 so we have to subtract the subtraction symbol should be there so we will be changing the sign of the second term so the final answer should be 10 so that is the condition we will write 25 15 so if we subtract 25 minus 15 we will get 10 but we want negative 10 that is minus 10 we have to put the minus symbol in the highest value so it becomes minus 25 minus of 15 if you didn't add a negative sign in 15 the sum collapses that is we have minus symbol in between so we will change the sign of the second term so it becomes minus 25 minus 15 and the result will be minus 40 so we have to put a negative sign in 15 also now let's calculate and see minus 25 minus 15 since we have minus here let's change the sign of the second term so it becomes plus minus into plus is minus on subtracting 10 greater number sign is minus so the answer is minus 10 So one of the combination is minus 25 and minus 15. Difference of both is minus 10. Similarly, we will split the 10 as 20 and 10. So 20 minus 10. So 20 minus 10 is 10. We want negative 10. So in the highest value, we will put minus. Again, the same scenario happened. so i am writing minus 10 here if we try this we will get minus 10 only similarly we can try out another combination that is minus 7 the other integer let's take the positive integer 3 so let's try this minus 7 3 it's plus 3 now we have minus no so changing the sign of the second term minus into minus plus on adding we will get 10 greater number sign is minus so it is minus 10 So like this we can try out n number of combination and we can write any one among them after writing the combination please do check out in the rough column whether you get the desired answers now let's move to the c sum sum is 0 it's very easy right one positive and one negative plus 4 the sum should be 0 so plus 4 minus 4 when you add you will get 0 similarly plus 7 minus 7 when we add we will get zero so like this any other number we can try second subdivision write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8 so we have to write a pair of negative integers so one negative integer the other one negative integer the difference should be 8 difference is minus so in between also it is minus so now let fill the blanks okay so when i decide to split 8 i can do it like 10 to so let me write 10 so let me write 10 and 2 here 
Now we can work it out and see minus 2 minus 10. Since we have minus here, the second term sign should be changed to plus. Minus into plus minus on subtraction we will have 8. The greater number sign is plus. Similarly, you can trial and out and find more number of combination. So one more try we will do. The main thing is you should know how to split the 8. Now let's try with 5 and 13. Okay. So 5, 13. Now when you work it out and see, we will get 8 only because minus 5. The second term we will change the sign so it becomes plus 13. Again minus into plus minus on subtraction we will get 8. The greater number sign will be plus. So same type only. B sum. Write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5. So two integers whose sum. So, so the middle sign is plus. The answer should be minus 5. They have clearly said like one negative integer and a positive integer. So when you think how you can split 5, we can split it like 25 and 20. So I am writing 25 here and 20. Since it is plus, there is no sign change. Minus into plus, minus on subtracting, you will get 5 greater number sign is minus. Similarly, you can try another combination as well. 15, 10. The only thing you have to notice, since the answer has minus sign over it, the highest number should have minus sign. But in the A subdivision, the answer 8 is a positive integer. Hence, we didn't bother about that. But here, the answer minus 5 has, is a negative integer. So, the highest to face value digit should have a negative sign. Now, see some. Write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3. So, we need to write a negative integer. So, difference, so I am writing minus and a positive integer. The answer should be minus 3. So, it is a combination of A subdivision and B subdivision. We have to split 3. Here also we have the minus in answer. So, on splitting 3, let's try with 2 and 1. Very simple. So, writing minus 2 plus 1. Now, let's work it out. Minus 2 plus 1. Since it is a difference, minus, changing the sign of the second term. Minus into minus plus. Adding, we will get 3. Greater number sign is minus. So, minus 3. Similarly, we can try out different examples. Now, here in the question, they have given us, write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3. They didn't say like, which one should come first and which integer should come second. So, if at all, if I am trying to interchange and write, that is, writing positive integer first and the negative integer second to get the answer minus 3, this combination never works. Why? Because we have a negative integer in the second term and the operation we are going to do is minus. So, if the middle operation is minus, we will be changing the sign of the second term. So, the second term changes to plus. If we have minus sign in between, we will be changing the sign of the second term, right? So, if the second term is changed to plus and even the first term, we have a positive integer, both positive integer, we will be adding up. On summing up, we will definitely won't get minus 3. Let's take the basic or lowest value 0, 1 or 1, 1. Definitely if you add 1, 1, we will get 2. We will not get minus 3 at any case. Since both are positive integers, plus into plus we will get plus. So on addition, we will never get minus 3. Since all are positive integers, the answer will also be a positive integer. So this combination never works. However, in B sum, here I can interchange and write, still I will get the same value minus 5. Ten minus fifteen. The operation is sum, so there is no sign change. Plus into minus minus on subtraction we will get five. The highest number is fifteen. The sign is minus five. If it is sum, no matter what, if you interchange also the answer will be same. But if it is difference, if you interchange, we will not have the same value. 
because 4 plus 5 is 9, 5 plus 4 is also 9. But in the case of subtraction, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 3 minus 2 is plus 1. For addition, it is commutative, that is a plus b equal to b plus a. However, in subtraction, a minus b is not equal to b minus a. So, in subtraction, if you interchange the digits, we will not get the correct combination. So, for the C subdivision, we are supposed to follow only the first combination. That is, the negative value should be the first term and the positive value should be the second term. So, let's try out one more example for this combination. So, in order to split minus 3, we can choose the same 1 and 2. So, let me write minus 1 and plus 2 here. So, we have taken the same face value 1 and 2 and placing minus 1 in the first term and second term as plus 2. Now, let's solve this minus 1. Since it is a minus, the second term will be sign change. So, it becomes minus 2. So, minus 1 minus 2. Minus into minus plus on adding we will get 3 greater number sign is minus. So, it is minus 3. The one more important thing to observe here is for B sum if the answer is minus 5. I have told you that the highest face value should have the negative sign. But in C sum, it is not mandatory because we are doing a difference here. Difference is subtraction. Anyways, the sign is going to be changed. But in sum, that is B sum, it is an addition whose sum is minus 5. So in addition, we will not do a sign change. So I was keen on writing a negative sign to the highest face value. But in C sum, it is a difference. So, anyways, there is going to be a sign change. Writing a highest face value in a negative integer or a highest face value in a positive integer doesn't matter as we will be following a sign change over there in the seesaw. This looks a little tricky, but these are very, very, very important. Please make a clear understanding on this as it will be used in our higher classes. Now, third sum. In a quiz, team A scored. Minus 40, 10, 0. So let's try the score of team A. And team B scored 10, 0, minus 40. So let's try the score of team B as well. 10, 0, minus 40. In three successive rounds. So these are the results of three continuous rounds. Which team scored more? So let's find the total score so that we can see which team scored more. Total score of team A. Let's sum it up together. Minus 40 plus 10 minus into plus minus. On subtraction we will get 30. Greater number sign is minus. So minus 30 and 0. Minus into plus minus. Adding or subtracting to 0 gives the same value. So it is minus 30. Therefore total score is minus 30. Now similarly we will find it for team B. Total score of team B. 10 plus 0 is 10. So 10 minus 40. Plus into minus is minus. On subtracting 30. Greater number sign is minus. So minus 30. Therefore total score of team B is minus 30. Both the scores are same. Thus, the score of the team A and team B is same. Because they have asked in the question which team scored more, both the team have scored the same score. Now they are asking like can we say that we can add integers in any order. So they are asking whether if we add the integers in any order whether we will be getting the same answer. The answer is yes. The biggest example is the second sum B subdivision. Those are integers and we are adding it up. So if in any order we add we will get the same answer as integers of closure and Addition. We have already read about these properties. Here also the same. Minus 40 plus 10 plus 0 is also minus 30. 10 plus 0 plus minus 40 is also minus 30. So in any order you add integers, you will get the same answer. Only addition I am speaking about, not about the difference. So yes, 
we can save that. We can add integers. in any order. Now let's discuss the fourth sum. Fill in the blanks to make sure the following statement is true. So in order to make these statements true, we have to fill in the blanks accordingly. We can solve these sums in two methods, either using identity or assuming the blanks with unknowns and solving it. Using identity and solving is the easiest method. So we can use the identity and solve. However, in any one of the sums, we will solve it using the assume method. So in the first subdivision, it is a plus b equal to then b plus a. So we have to write the value of a, which is minus 5. It's an identity which we have already learned. Second subdivision, a plus dash gives the a, that is 0. So a plus 0 equal to a. So the blank, the answer is 0. Third subdivision, a plus minus a gives 0. It is also an identity which we already learned. So minus a, right? a is 17. So minus a means minus 17 is the answer. Now let's try how to solve this via assume method. Now let's assume the unknown as x. Hence in the blank we have to write x. So 17 plus x is equal to 0. So plus 17 when it is transposed to the right hand side it becomes a minus 17. So x is equal to 0 minus 17. Now with 0 you add or subtract whatever you do you will get the same value. So 0 minus 17. The answer is 17. The greater number is 17. So its sign is minus. So it is minus 17. Which is the answer for that blank as well. So using identity or using AC method both are same. Fourth subdivision. A plus B plus C equal to a plus b plus c so in the blank we have to write the value of c which is minus 7 in the fifth subdivision a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c so the value of c is minus 3 associative addition associative addition so we have used all the identities over here and solved the sums. We can solve this by using either identity method or using the assume method. Both are correct. In order to verify, if at all you have a doubt and you need to verify, you have to solve the LHS and you have to solve the RHS separately and check whether LHS is equal to RHS. If both are equal, then the answer which you have written is correct. If you really doubt, you can try for one or two sums over here. And please let me know if you have any other doubts. With this, we have completed this exercise. Thank you all for watching Smart. Grasp, explore and win. Stay tuned for more videos.